Hey Taurus, welcome back to the channel, Fiery Falcon Tarot. This is going to be your November monthly reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. We're going to pull you guys a few Oracle cards and then we're going to dive into your messages. Excuse the noise in advance, I am charging, so hopefully you guys don't hear a lot of background music. If you see people in the video in the background, excuse the people in advance, again I'm charging. Alright, so let's see, messages here for Taurus. Hope you guys are well, doing well, and feeling well. Let's see. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Let's see. Taurus, Taurus. There we go. All right. It has, I am accepting. It did come out in the reverse, so there's something that you guys are choosing to not i feel like you guys are choosing to avoid something and you're not accepting something so i don't know if you're disappointed with like a circumstance or a situation or maybe i'm hearing something's not favorable um so whatever this is taurus i feel like you do need to make peace with it and accept it or maybe i have the deck in the reverse i do okay <laughs> so some of you guys may be accepting and some of you guys may not be accepting so i am accepting what are you guys accepting here? We have, I advance through my own abilities. So maybe some of you guys are spiritually gifted here and you're accepting that. Some of you guys maybe realize that you are spiritually gifted and maybe some of you guys are not accepting that, all right? So I feel like you're struggling to make peace with something here, some type of ability that you may have, okay? Um, I don't know if this is someone that has a disability here and you're just not accepting of that. So I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing severed limb. Okay. So maybe you guys had to have, um, surgery on something here, right? And maybe you had to have a limb removed, whether that's an arm, a leg, or something of that sort. Maybe you lost a uh, ability that you once may have. Maybe this is your sight. Maybe this is your hearing. Maybe this is your vision. Um, and I feel like some of you guys are accepting what it is that you're currently dealing with there's some of you guys are not accepting it i'm being led to guide another being led to give you guys another card here it says i achieve with integrity okay so have integrity have discernment um so whatever regardless of what your circumstances may be projected as currently Maybe some of you guys may need, have Aries in your chart. You might need to check out the Aries reading once I put it up here. Okay. All right. So they had kind of some challenging energy that came out in their spread as well, too. This is the Everyday Witches Oracle. That was the Minty Oracle deck here. Let's see. Messages for Taurus. Okay. If you guys have lost a limb or something like that, I mean, I do feel your pain for sure. Uh, but just look at the positive of it. You still have your life. You're still living. Okay. You're still able to exist. Okay. So just look at the positive as much as you can. Again, I'm in public, guys. I'm charging the car. So excuse any noise that you guys may hear. Okay. All right. Messages for Taurus. Let's see. What is Taurus is needing to accept? And what is it that some of my Tauruses are accepting here? Messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Taurus. Let's see. What messages do we have for you guys? The cards feel great, but I don't know what message Spirit has for you guys here. Let's see. I don't want to pull, but I may have to. Come on here, angels. Divine. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Threw out three cards for you guys. All right. We have prayers and wishes here. So you guys are trying to manifest. You guys are trying to create something here in your life here. Um, I'm hearing like you're trying to create a new reality for yourself. Uh, you're trying to create a new a new truth 
So whatever it is that you're going through, I feel like you guys are like, you know, fuck that. This can't be me. This ain't life. This can't be life. This is not my circumstance. It's not my reality. I'm going to create me something different. I'm kind of getting that kind of energy here. All right. It says plant the seeds. Yeah, look, plant the seeds. So I don't know. I get like a fire under your ass or something here. Something pissed you off. Uh, it's kind of what I'm picking up here. It's, it says change and progress here. So, yeah, maybe you guys have gotten some doors shut in your face or maybe some people have told you no or maybe things are just not shaping into what you feel like is accepting to you. So I feel like you guys are like putting your foot down like, yeah, no, that's not you got me fucked up kind of energy. Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I feel like you guys are going in a different direction here. Um and look, you got maybe you got this cat with you, uh, your ancestor, your spirit guys, or and so maybe this is like a boost of energy that you guys are getting here. It's like y y you know, I am not subjecting myself to whatever your reality may be perceiving to be at this moment. But I feel like I'm talking to some high vibrational Tauruses here, or Tauruses that are in the project process of raising their vibration. So I feel like. Maybe someone's telling you that you can't, you won't, you you better not. And you, you're like, oh, oh okay, you, you don't know what I'm capable of, right? Or you don't know what I what I have behind me. Like, I feel like you guys know that you have your angels or your ancestors backing you guys and that you can reach out to them and call on to them for help. It's pretty much what I'm getting here. It says, speak your mind, see? So maybe this is you know someone maybe not valuing you maybe this is a job i'm kind of getting like a job energy or like a person so maybe someone doesn't want to comply or maybe someone feels like you're not complying you're like yeah i'm not complying to something that's not vibrationally aligned to me you know and it's like some of these jobs feel like they can enforce or you know put fear into people because you know they feel like whatever you know, they're the boss, they, they can fire you, they can hire you type of energy, right? And it's like, they're going to use that. So this could be you dealing with someone that has some type of position or status, maybe above you, this could be like, I'll say like a boss. And it's like, someone's trying to use their power to instill fear into you, if that makes any sense, right? Um, we have inspiration and courage. And it's giving me again, that magician energy that like creative that alchemizing energy where you guys are like yeah that's that might be your reality but that ain't my fucking reality i'm kind of getting that it says learn from life yeah so you guys are understanding that hey you know these lessons these experiences are just things to you know boost you right these are things that are just you know you're using to promote whatever healthier relationships healthier work partnerships or healthier partnerships right uh i feel like you guys are just trying to promote better it's what i'm picking up here i don't know i might sound like i'm tongue-tied or whatever like that but that's just basically what i'm picking up that someone's trying to use maybe their power um to instill fear in you in some kind of way some type of way let's see messages here for taurus all right so yeah, so with that, if that's the, if that's your story that I'm picking up right now here, someone's trying to instill fear in you. Um, this could be a parent saying that, you know, you shouldn't go on that voyage. You shouldn't go on that journey. You shouldn't go, you know, for that job in another state, another country or whatever the case may be. Um, so again, people trying to instill fear in you to keep you um, on that vibration, you know? Yeah, two of coins trying to you're trying to bring some type of balance and stability into your life but other meanwhile other people are not seeing it's kind of like they're not seeing it like how you're viewing it and may, maybe some people are saying you're crazy you know we have the queen of swords and we have the nine of cups yeah you guys are like in this energy of like like i said yeah that might be your reality but i ain't my fucking reality because you know i've learned through tarot that i can create and build you know whatever reality i want to create and what i want to build for myself and it's like it, i just need to be logical about it right the queen of swords here you know and it's like you know you will hear so this is like someone i don't know maybe this is someone saying that you know they can give you information on how to build 
whatever you're trying to build. Say you're trying to create a new business for yourself. Um, so the Queen of Swords is you. Like, yeah, okay, I can listen to you and I can hear you out. But as, so, as soon as you go against what my desires are, what my wish fulfillment is, and what I feel like I could bring and create into my life, then this is when you get cut right it's kind of like that and it's like you know you're looking for people that's going to like stand up for you in the logical way but you're not here for someone that's saying that you cannot or you will not or you're unable to or whatever kind of negative aspect that someone's trying to project onto you it's like you're not you're not accepting that because you know that that's not that's not real and if you give it the energy of being real then then that will cultivate into your life that will manifest in your to your life that will shift into your vibrational energy and it's like you guys are understanding that now and it's like you're understanding the different dimensions and how to you may not be understanding how to navigate through it entirely but i feel like for most of my tours that i'm speaking to and that i'm connected to it's like you guys are understanding here that you can create um now how you create you may be like a little sketchy about that right because you're it's like a learning like like it said on the oracle card there um learning the lessons of life right or whatever it said right basically it's like you guys have learned and you guys have you know strategically maybe re not maybe but for some of you guys you have you're starting to think strategic right you're starting to understand how you can manifest things into your life and you're also being very very aware of thoughts becoming your reality right so you guys are being cautious about energies that you're accepting into your life energies that you're letting into your circle and energies that you are trying to vibrationally align yourself with and again it's like if someone's telling that you you're not getting promoted because whatever shitty reason they give you that you're not being promoted and you're like oh okay you're not gonna promote me okay i understand but i'm gonna go to my my higher self right the uh, the because the queen of swords is actually essentially holding the ace of swords the sword of truth um, so I feel like you guys are understanding that maybe that's your thoughts. Those are your beliefs, but those are not mine. And I'm not, you know, I'm not giving into the low vibrational thought process, if that makes any sense. Right. Um, so some of you guys are trying, you know, you're, tr you're changing the way that you think you're changing the way that you are seeing things. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. You got some good communication that's going to be coming in here for you guys. Taurus is here. This could be downloads from Spirit. This could be actually communication from another individual. All right, we have the Four of Swords and we have uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Swords is coming up in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles is in the up, right? So it's like if you've had a break from work, if, you, if you've been looking for a job, if you've been looking for an opportunity for whatever reason, right? to plant a new seed here the ace of pentacles right um to grow to enhance yourself to enhance something uh i feel like that break is about to be over here if there was some type of stagnancy in your finances or resources here i feel like you're getting ready to have a breakthrough right with the ace of pentacles up right the four swords in reverse along with the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck right you got the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck here and I'm being drawn to pour one more from the bottom. And you have judgment here. Yeah. All right. So this could be a job that's, like I said, that didn't want to give you your raise, that didn't value, didn't see what you could bring to the table. And it's not that they didn't see. It's just that they chose to not let you know that they see it. And the fact they were intimidated by it, which is the real reason why they're giving you so much chaos and, you know, it's all hectic and shit. So just the truth of the matter there for you guys. But for others of you, this is... Uh, a new opportunity is going to be bestowed to you, all right, in some kind of way. You're going to get some kind of communication here about something. Now, for some of you, this could actually involve money, right? So this could actually you be getting a job, you're getting an interview, you're getting orientation or receiving that date or something like that here. This could also be you getting confirmation of a date for a maybe a payout is what I'm hearing as well, too. Um so if you've been waiting for unemployment and it hasn't gone through, I feel like that is going to go through for some of you guys. If that if that is your, you know, if that message applies to you, these are general. So take what does and leave what does not resonate. Give it back to the universe, baby. It's somebody else's story. It's not yours. It's okay. It's all good. Uh, but at the end of the day, I do feel like things are going to be changing around for you guys here really, really quickly here. We have the Queen of Swords and Nine of Cups. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is energy that is going to be picking up here. Remember, air energy is really, really quick and really fast here. 
um the eight of wands is quick energy as well too all right and the four of swords there's not going to be a delay the four of swords is in the reverse all right so if whatever was delayed is about to be moving for you guys okay <laughs> i can't make it up at the bottom of the deck we got the chariot now when i say it's going to be moving it's going to be moving for you guys um i like this a lot we have the six of swords and we have the ten of coins here uh, so you're moving right towards this ten of coins. So this could be a job coming in. This could be a contract coming in. This could be, um, I'm not getting really, I don't really get the cards that I usually get that will, you know, pertain to like social media and things of that nature. But for some of you guys, it could be. So whatever you feel like has been stagnated and has been delayed, I see movement. I see momentum is going to be gaining for you guys. It's going to be picking up. Again, the four of swords is in the reverse. The six of swords is up right here. All right. This could also be someone that's going to be wanting to reach back out to you guys too. Uh, but this is going to be after this new whatever kicks off for you guys. All right. That's what it, that's what I do see. It's going to be after whatever this new energy is. Let's see. And you know why the energy and the momentum is going to be shifting? Because you're shifting your momentum and you're shifting your energy. Whether that's you were thinking from a, a lack mind state or, you know, just out of fear. You know, whatever it was. So I feel like as soon as you change your subconscious thoughts and whatever you're projecting, I feel like that's going to be, that's the catalyst for this shift. All right. That's what I'm picking up. That's the catalyst for this shift. All right, let's see. What else? We have the Five of Cups here. With the Five of Cups in this deck, it does give me, like, bringing emotions into a balance. Uh, because we have two cups upright, we have two cups in the reverse, and then we have one cup that is completely sideways. So for me, that would be like the indication of like balancing out things, right? And it's like that yin yang energy, even though it's not really the yin yang card, but it's also it just gives me the energy of balance, right? Uh, we have the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. So this is something that you guys felt like was lost at one point in time, but it is not lost again excuse the noise outside oh we're just we're just got done charging so let me go unplug let's see anything else here for taurus sun moon rising and our venus this is also could be is the, uh, that accepting energy is also you guys accepting um this new i'm, I'm hearing a clean slate so some of you guys are going to be getting a new slate, a fresh slate, a clean slate, or whatever have you. I don't know what's going on. It sounds like this guy saying that he couldn't keep his place or something like that. So he lost his place. I'm not really sure. He's looking in my car right now, but I'm looking at the camera trying to read and give you guys the message here. Um, so let's see. The five of cups is what you guys thought that you lost. And in reality, it's like you don't lose anything. The universe is not here to punish us. It's here to teach us. So that way we can advance and go towards what we should be going to with the full card at the bottom of the deck here. All right. That's beautiful. I love it. This is also showing me that you guys are no longer being fear. Uh, yeah. Five of wands in the tower. Again, you're, you are removing yourselves from this low vibrational energy so if this is a job you know it's giving me they're showing me this part from mario when you know i guess they was working for like another plumbing company and the guy was in i think they were like in the diner or a pizza shop or something like that when they got their first call for their first job 
they started their own, you know, plumbing business, right? Um, and, and the guy, the boss, he was pretty much like a bully, you know? He thought he was hot shit, like he was untouchable and that, you know, the people needed to be there. And it's like, no. And it's like, people put that own fear into their own thoughts, right? Um, so anyway, they started their own business, right? Um, the fool, the hangman, they were, you know, they started a new business, but they hadn't gotten any work yet, right? But then they got a call that came in for them to fix the sink. Um, but then that led to them going on to this whole nother adventure, right? Because then New York City was under flood and, and they were like, yeah, if we could save New York City, like this would be the opportunity that we need to put us on the map. Like this is the opportunity that we need that's going to free us up from this stagnated energy here and gain, start gaining some type of momentum, right? And then the Ace of Cups came in, right? You know, they you know, it was victorious. You guys seen Mario. But it's like that same type of energy here. It's like, don't adopt that negative mindset because people want to put fear into you because they see what you're capable of becoming they don't want you to see it right and it's like if they don't if they can avoid you seeing that then you'll stay at my company for 20 years you'll stay you know living with your mom for 10 years you'll stay living with you know dealing with whatever circumstances that life is giving you right now if, if you know it's kind of like forgive me for going here and being so blunt about this but it's like people that are in abusive relationships it's like the abuser thinks that oh if i can continue to put fear in this person then they will never leave me right they will never see themselves as being valued of, of something of value right they will never see the real true beauty and potential they have within them if i could just keep beating their you know beating them down either physically mentally and emotionally and usually it's all three right and I, i'm sorry to use that but i'm just giving it as an example that's it just so people can understand you know what i'm saying here so whoever that's coming from right but the world card you could be doing with the Taurus, leo scorpio or a uh aquarius here fixed energy don't necessarily have to be but if it's not that then this is the universe saying that look we're going to be bringing some change in you know it, it's time to you know remove some things from your life four cups here right um and the four cups is not even a rem removal it's again the five of cups is like something that's no longer serving you essentially right the three of cups is like the universe the four of cups excuse me is like the universe has something better to offer you because with the four of cups card typically you see a, a hand come out the cloud with the cup you know that's a new opportunity here we saw the fool card that showed up for you guys so uh, you know there is better for you it's like but do you do you see yourself as that right do you see do you deem yourself of being capable of, of having you know that right you know what i'm saying so it's like that kind of energy you know yeah we have temperance here uh if something if a cycle is trying to close out allow it to close out you know be patient with it and yeah two of cups here there's gonna be something better again uh the universe doesn't do things to inflict pain onto us they only simply do things for us because they have better for us so be patient while this cycle is closing out for you guys um you know it could be really challenging right now to deal with and to go through but at the end of the day it will be uh, a beautiful thing on the outside let's get a few here from my oracle deck here yeah we have big heart yeah universe sees that you have a big heart that you are very loving you could have leo placements in your chart here taurus all right but we have the that is you know like the ace of cups there ace of emotions yeah we have greedy in the reverse here you are not a greedy person if you've been dealing with greedy people then this is what the universe is removing you from because these are people that are just takers i'm on a podcast by the way called the urban angel definitely go check out our latest segment it's called givers and takers we have king energy here king queen energy here so it looks like a possible divine counterpart for sure with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck now the two of cups could be platonic or it could be um you know romantic doesn't matter it could be a friend too we have i cry over you uh you could have separated from somebody because the king does give me king and queen of pentacles type of energy and remember we saw the queen of pentacles here um so someone that you may have separated from that was a low vibrational person they are you know they, they're emotional saddened <laughs> that your energy is no longer there and it's like i don't feel like you know they're sad that sh that 
I don't feel like they're sad about the situation. I feel like they're sad because of the manipulation tactics, the controlling energy that maybe they can't do anymore. Right? Yeah, that's because it was a past life toxic situation here. Right? Yeah, someone was the spider, the devil, okay? That you are attached to. Yeah, something that's old energy and it's time for you to release that old energy here. Yeah no change because the person hasn't changed so if the circumstances around you haven't changed and it's up to you to make those change we have aries it was in the reverse so some of you guys may have dropped the aries okay let's see i'm sorry again guys for the noise i am in public the car is done charging but i'm about to, i'm doing a reading so i'm about to wrap y'all up anything else here for taurus sun moon rising and our venus for november yeah look here it is right here we got yeah we have breakup and we have tree stomp that situation that you guys were dealing with taurus is a tree stomp which is essentially a blockage right eight of swords nine of swords type of energy um which is why the world card is ending up because the universe is ready for you guys to start a new cycle are you um we do have a divine woman here queen of pentacles energy again um oh we got sag okay so this divine woman could be a sagittarius i'm not really sure you could have sag placements in your chart we have war but it did show up in the reverse okay so i picked it up like that so i feel like this is what you guys are tired of you guys are tired of going through disappointment you guys are tired of going through letdowns you guys are tired of dealing with grief you guys are tired of dealing with struggle strife um someone hit how they feel about you too or you did them take it how it resonates but i feel like a lot of you know people are tired you know taurus are you tired you're tired you're sick of tired sick of tired and i feel like the universe is tired for you as well too and this is why they're wanting you to implement this change in your life because they want you to have better and they want you to see better in yourself as well is what i'm hearing but that's what I have for you guys. Again, I do apologize for the noise. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment. The section is always open. As long as it's a high vibrational comment. Or if you're sharing um, an experience from a 3D moment that you once shared. Uh, take it how it resonates. I mean, however it applies, that's fine. But that's what I do ask. Check out the community section on the channel as well. Um, if you need anything from me, like a personal reading, life coaching, spiritual bath, definitely look down below. You guys can see my contact information down there. You guys can reach out to me as well. Any decks that you're interested about, you can definitely check for those on Etsy, um, Etsy or Amazon, okay? And I have the Minty Oracle deck. I also have the Music Tarot deck, um, the Divine, I mean the Divine, um, the Fiery Falcon Tarot deck, which is my deck. If you guys want to order that deck, that deck is simply uh, $15.99, um, and that will be shipped out for you guys, plus shipping and handling. I have to add that in there as well, too, because I can't ship for free, guys. Come on now. I can't ship for free. I wish I could, um, but that's just simply not an option. But anything else, guys, um, just look in the description box. If you need anything, just reach out to me. I love you guys. Take care. Stay well and stay blessed. I will catch you guys with the next one. Definitely subscribe to the channel um, so that way you guys can get notified when I post and or go live on the channel. But that's what I have for you guys. And take care. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.